this tutorial I shall show how to export a blend shape or as it is called morph uh, from Maya to Unity. It is uh, this instead of Maya you could use also the other programs while the second part importing to Unity is the same for all programs. Let us create a sphere. And now let us duplicate it. This is our first sphere. Now we have two spheres and let us make the first sphere invisible. Control H so that we have only the second one. This is the second one. Now we shall deform it in a way. We choose vertex, select some vertices. I have the soft selection so that you select uh, them softly, some more, some less. And then we just pull this out. Now we have a sphere of the change shape. We go to the object mode again and we can make the first one visible. We have two spheres. What is important with blend shape or morph is that uh, the objects where you change their shape, they all must have the same number of uh, polygons or vertices. This is uh, important. Now we go in the animation menu to create deformers, blend shape and let us say shape or sphere blend this is the name of uh, and create and in the animation editors we have the blend shape editor where we see our oh this i made mistake sorry I should uh, create, uh, select both. I should select select both. Create the form of blend shape. Right. Now let us have a look in the windows. Yes, now it is. This is the first one. You can ignore it. It, uh, it was uh, I made it wrong. And the second one, you see, the shape of the sphere is now changing. We can have a look which one of these two spheres is in fact the one that uh, is changing shape. You see the other one, the sphere 2 is that one that really changes. Now we select the object uh, and export it as FBX format, export selection. FBX type export is already chosen. We have to be careful here. Animation should be turned on and uh, the blend shape should be turned on here. So let us name it sphere blend export selection. Now we can go out of it Maya and have a look where have we got it is here in the scenes folder it should be a sphere sphere blended this is our exported file we now just drag it into our unity assets folder it. and we can start unity i will always suggest that you go out of Unity, you close Unity before you move these files, then uh, everything starts much cleaner. You don't encounter any problems. We start Unity. We 
we already have a new scene here we go to the pro into the project tab and here it is our sphere blended let us click on it let us at first scale as I pointed out to make it large enough for example 10 we rig oh yes apply I forgot to click apply we rig we should put it always into legacy to preserve animation that we made in Maya uh, and that is uh, the, that's basically all we can just go apply and drag our blended sphere to the main window to the scene. Let's have a look where it is. Oh, it is the game window, that's why I, I was in the game window, that's why I didn't see anything. So, this is our sphere. If you look at it, if it is already selected, and we have here animation and uh, transform, sphere blended, there should be a blend shape. Yes, here it is blend shapes. That's what I was searching for. Uh, this is our blend shape. If we move it, we should see how it changes. Maybe I don't see it from the right side. Let's turn it a little around. And so. Zero. Ah, now it works. Yes, it was just behind our viewpoint. Here is the here is and if we go this way then it uh, becomes normal and it is blended again. We can control uh, the amount of this uh, with a slider or with an animation but this I think is best the theme of some other tutorial. I was just showing here how you import it into Unity. Uh, this is a, a new feature of Unity uh, of the version 4.3, I think. Before, uh, it was not possible to import in such an elegant way the blended shapes into Unity. You can have uh, several uh, parameters which you change with scripts. So, for example, if you have a face, then you can have a blend shape for smile, a blend shape for cry and so on. That is all. Thank you.